So reviewing this, I say a lot of um. And so I'm going to make a game. Comment below how many ums I say because there were way too many for me to even edit out. So just just try and try and just comment below how many ums you think I've said because it's mm, mm, mm. okay. On with this, on with the video. Hey guys, today I'm going to be educating you, <laughs> talking about Stickler syndrome, what it is, how it affects me, um, all that fun jazz. I'm I have my laptop here because I'm going to be reading what I've already written about Stickler syndrome, which is posted on my blog, which I will have linked below. Most of the videos that I'm going, I'm planning on doing are already on my blog, so um, that gets updated more regularly than this because I can do that whenever. Um, I can't do this whenever because I need to be in a quiet environment, which never happens. I need to look decent, which never happens. So, <laughs> let's, let's, let's go, move on. Okay, so what is... Stickler syndrome. So, Stickler syndrome is a genetic disorder that's caused by a mutation mutation in your gene that's responsible for forming collagen. Collagen is a protein that adds strength to your um, tissues and muscles and joints, adds strength and elasticity. So, like, collagen makes it so, like, you can bend and move your, ow, move your, um, <laughs> limbs. So, related with Stickler Syndrome is arthritis, which I have, which not a lot of people believe that, which is frustrating. Um, yes, I have arthritis. Many people with Stickler Syndrome have arthritis. Uh, I can't remember if everyone does, but I'm pretty sure majority do. And if you don't know what arthritis is, it's when, it's, it's when your joints hurt, basically, and you can't move them as well like I can't make I, I that's as far as I can bend my finger so I don't know what the normal finger bending is but I do know that like when I go to the nail salon they're like oh relax relax your hand relax and then they're just like slapping like this is as relaxed as I get I, I can't make it any more relaxed and if you notice my pointer fingers this one how it curves in see See, that, that's not normal. Um, <laughs> I used to joke when I was younger that I was a child stuck in an old lady's body because of the arthritis. It does not allow me to do a lot of things. And each time, Stickler syndrome can be passed down. And each time it's passed down, it gets worse. So my mom has Stickler syndrome, and it was passed down to me. So I have it worse than she does. So if if my if I have children, then there's a possibility that I can pass what I have down to them, and it would be worse than what I have. Symptoms for Stickler syndrome also include problems with your eyes. That's why I have glasses. Um, my eyesight is horrible, absolutely horrible. Um, but you know that thing where everyone's like, oh my gosh, you have glasses. Let me try on your glasses. So they try on my glasses. They're like, oh my god. You're blind. Yes. Yes, I am. Um, I also have risk of getting a detached retina and cataracts, which basically a detached retina is when, like, your retina becomes detached, your eye not attached to where it's supposed to be attached to, and cataracts basically when your vision clouds over and you can't see. Um, both, my mom has had both of those, so I've had uh, numerous surgeries already. Um, they they did spot treatments and, um, basically, like, welded my eye to make sure that it didn't, um, detach. Um, people with Stickler Syndrome also have, um, a higher risk of hearing loss, which I have. Um, the nerves in my ears, like the, the canals, I think, were not, they, instead of like this, they were like this, so all the nerves that were there were not able to form correctly, therefore, I need these little babies. Along with that, people with Stickler syndrome also have facial abnormalities. These can include a cleft lip, which is like the lip isn't formed, so it's like a hole, maybe like it goes up or something. Um, a cleft palate. I had a cleft palate 
which basically the roof of your mouth so the roof of my mouth was not formed all the way so um when I was born it was there was like a hole there wasn't a roof of my mouth separating my mouth from my nose so basically I was suffocating because my tongue was like up in there and so no air was able to get in it was a mess <clears throat> people um also um a small jaw some of my baby pictures on my jaw is I've had to have um a lot of orthopedic orthodontist braces and stuff um help adjust this because my jaw was too small for my teeth so if you look on the side like how my it's really short like there's no mm, I have like I I have no lower jaw, no none. So it's it's just super short right here. So they're also um, commonly known to have a short stature. Uh, the doctor told my family that I was not going to get, um, I was not going to reach five feet, let alone go above it. But I'm already at five five, so. Yeah, that doesn't apply to me apparently, but mo um, most people are have short. They're shorter. The most common thing is having joint problems. Like I can't sit on the floor comfortably. I can't um like move my limbs enough. Like even just sitting here, my shoulders are already hurting a lot. Um, I I have to stretch a lot. Um, like putting on shoes in the morning is very difficult. I can't, um, bend down enough to, to pull them on. So it's, it's a, it's a problem. It's really inconvenient. That's what it is. It's just a bunch of inconveniences. Um, I know how, like what I can and can't do. Um, like I can't stand for a really long time. I can't walk for a very long time. Um, I can, I can't, I have to be sitting in a chair or on a bed or on a couch. I can't sit on the ground. I mean, I can in certain situations, like if I'm laying on my floor or, but I've never been able to sit um, crisscross applesauce. I've only been able to do that, I think, twice in my life. And <laughs> it took months of practice um, doing exercises does help like in high school I was on a swim team I was a lot more flexible I guess during swim season because I was constantly moving but the thing with stickless swim like there's no muscle memory so if I like I've been going to the gym lately like, just to keep myself from freezing up because that's what happens like my joint hurts so then my muscle tries to protect the joint so it tightens so it usually it starts in my hips and or it either starts in my hips or my ankles and then it either works its way up or down and uh, so what happens is my whole leg ends up getting locked up so I can't bend it or like walk normally so I end up walking like I have a peg leg it's annoying and it hurts because the muscle is trying to protect the joint so it tightens which just makes the muscle hurt and the joint hurt and then my body tries to like readjust to make it more comfortable and it just it just gets worse it's just, mm. and so but it has no muscle memory like I've been going to the gym um actually I, it was a period I was going every day but then like finals I just got done with finals yesterday and so I didn't go to the gym for four days and I'm already like e like I said even just sitting here my body's like you you know what you need pain no I don't I don't need that right now but that's what I'm getting that's the science I guess behind this and it, it also affects you mentally because I mean obviously like I'm limited in my abilities I, I can watch my friends sit on the floor and I can't join them or I can like just doing basic things hurts I can't bend over I'm not capable of bending over. So already walking, like you can tell, I'm kind of like stiff. I'm in my pajamas, so. <laughs> but like just walking like this leg, 
and here's me trying to bend over like I So no matter how hard, I never have been able to touch my toes, even when I've, I've had people on my back pushing me, and it still doesn't work. Um, that whole area, like, uh, like, I watch with my friends, or even when I read books, and people are like, oh, I pulled my knee to my chest. That, that can't happen for me. Okay, so here's... Look at all that space, that's... <sighs> and it hurts, it hurt. it burns, it burns right here, and this, even my stomach, it won't, it doesn't, this hip area doesn't want to bend up and allow me It's just, this is not, not an option. This video is already too long, so stay tuned for a part two. Two? Um, this was just going to be like the scientific aspect of it. The next part will go more in depth on how it personally affects me. If you have any more questions regarding this, um, stickler syndrome, comment them below. Make sure you subscribe. Um, also, check out my blog. I will have it linked in the description. And it goes more into detail about this. And it um, also will have other posts. So, as I said in the beginning of the video, I update my blog more than I update YouTube. Because it's just easier for me to do. So, most of the stuff, most of my actual blog posts are going to be future videos when I have the time to actually record them. So, if you like this, give it a thumbs up, comment below any other videos you'd like to see, or if you have any questions about this, and I will post a part two as well. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a lovely day.